Hi, everyone. My name is Gavin Graveson. I am the CEO and co-founder at Radical. Uh, thank you so much to Autodesk and for everybody else here who has welcomed us to the uh, Vision Series event at SIGGRAPH 2023 in Los Angeles. We're going to spend uh, quite a bit of time uh, talking about uh, Radical, uh, but if we do our job right, this should be no more than five, six, seven minutes. Um, we are going to touch on our vision. We're going to touch on some of the products we're about to release and the roadmap ahead that we're gonna share with uh, all partners across the industry. Uh, but we are gonna then jump right into a live demo, hopefully within about seven, eight minutes. Uh, that is going to show off a real-time multiplayer and collaborative integration uh, in, in Autodesk Maya. Now let's start uh, with Radical, a little bit of our story, a vision product and roadmap. Now I'm gonna make myself just a bit smaller so you can see a bigger selection of our team here. Uh, Matteo Giberti, he will be co-presenting with me today. He, uh, I'm gonna hand over to him in just a moment. Uh, but there are other important people within the team. Uh, we have a, a scientific advisor, such as Professor Serge Berlanghi at Copenhagen University. We have Michelle Besnow, who used to be at Autodesk uh, and is uh, one of the leading minds behind FBX, Human IK, uh, and other incredible products uh, that our industry cherishes. Uh, and we have a great team all the way uh, through uh, a, the AI side, as well as product design and front-end development as well, back-end development. Uh, we are uh, heavily focused on web and cloud. So we have a much larger team that is responsible for uh, making sure that we are fully scalable. Now I'm going to just make myself just a bit more visible now. Okay. Most of, our, of you will probably know us for the work that we have been doing now for a few years in the space of AI-powered motion capture. There's been a lot happening in the space, uh, and that is uh, not different for us. We have been working hard for some time now on uh, a range of new features, uh, and some of those we'll demonstrate today. Most importantly, our real-time multiplayer platform uh, uh, but there is much more coming, and I uh, believe Matteo will touch on some of those feature sets um, today. There is a second very important component of our platform that we're currently developing. We will not be able to go into much detail uh, on, on that front today, but I do want everybody to be aware of what we're doing. Uh, I think it is exciting. Uh, in short summary, you should think of it as a as an end-to-end -end content creation editor. We will call it Radical Canvas. It will not only allow you to record in real time uh, multiplayer animations, it will also allow you to edit them, to recompose them, to uh, uh, upload assets, characters, to uh, manipulate all of these things on the timeline, and then to make that content available to the world, both through our website uh, and other channels. Uh, with that said, let me go straight into uh, the AI and I'm gonna hand over to Matteo to talk about that. Thank you, Gavan. Hey everybody, I'm Matteo Giuberti, co-founder and CTO at Radical. I have been working in the human motion space for about 15 years now. My background is technical, I studied telecommunications engineering, and I have a PhD in human motion analysis and reconstruction using signal processing deep learning and biomechanics. Before Radical, I spent around six years at Accents, now Movella, where I led research and development efforts that went into the latest generation of their flagship inertial sensor mocap suit. At Radical, I oversee the overall technical stack, but most importantly, I'm responsible for the science and the AI that we're currently building. With respect to our AI specifically, we developed a proprietary end-to-end -end approach that allows us to estimate 3D skeletal joint rotations from a single video source. That approach was built with important first principles, principles ideas in mind. First, we aim for our AI to run in real time. And second, it should work with any single consumer grade camera without compromising the accuracy of the reconstructed motion. But what makes our AI truly unique is that it is trained on real human motion data to fundamentally understand how a person moves. 
by leveraging this fundamental understanding of human motion, our networks can generate plausible, beautiful motion that appears authentic and human, regardless of the quantity or the quality of the video inputs. And that is why we say, as in the title here, that the power of our AI comes from our networks rather than their inputs. We've been busy improving our platform and our AI, and starting this fall, we expect to release several important upgrades. In fact, since this is pre-recorded, by the time you see this video, some of these features mentioned here might already be available to you. Okay, so generally, we're working to improve overall motion fidelity with a particular focus on sharper and more realistic foot lock. That's always a top priority. But besides those, here are additional priorities we're currently taking on. We're going to introduce face, hands and finger tracking. We're going to be able to capture more than one person in the same video frame. We're going to make our AI even more robust against messy input videos, possibly allowing the camera to move around without affecting much the quality of our results. We are also introducing a mode for upper body capture only, as requested by several of our users that prefer to work in this cutout rather than with a full body one. And we will significantly expand what we call the motion domain. By that we mean the motion RAI understands. At this time, RAI has mostly been trained on conventional everyday motion, but we will soon also support more unusual and experimental motion, such as what you see here. Thank you, Matteo. Now, before we go into the demo, let me just quickly talk about how we are building this platform out for scale, because scale is a guiding principle in absolutely everything we do. First, you have got to be able to use us absolutely everywhere. That means indoors, it means outdoors, it means controlled environments, it means in uncontrolled, unconstrained environments in the wild. Second, it is important to us that you can use us uh, on any device. Uh, sometimes the way we summarize that is if you have a browser uh, and a camera and those two things are connected to the internet, internet you can use Radical uh, and that includes Radical Live. We are completely web enabled, we are completely cloud enabled and that allows us to state ambitions such as you can bring up to 5 billion people into our platform. 5 billion is the number of people that uh, apparently have access to the internet. And that is how we think about a platform. Now, our real-time multiplayer architecture is built around these basic building blocks. So that is to say, if you uh, are anywhere in the world, you can use any device to connect your video stream straight into our cloud. That device could be a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile device. Our AI will process that video stream in real time and make 3D animation data in the form of 3D joint rotations available through WebSocket servers um, and through a concept we call Radical Live Rooms uh, to the end user. And those live rooms can be visualized through a range of software clients. And we're going to go back into that in just a moment. What is important to understand before we go into the software clients and those integrations is that a virtually unlimited number of audience members or rather actors can add themselves into a radical live room. And that is simply by choosing that room and then streaming their video uh, into our cloud. Our cloud will know that that has happened and we will again process the, uh, the video uh, in real time and then make the uh, animation data available within that a live room in real time. And again, uh, if you are then participating as an actor or an audience member in that room, you can see if you're an actor yourself, but you can also see everybody else who is participating in that room. And that is exactly what we'll show, uh, show you today. Very briefly about the software integrations and the visualizations that are possible and the way you can scale out to a virtually unlimited number of audience members and participants. The data is made available through WebSocket servers. Uh, and if the device that you're on is permission to receive that data, 
it can then be visualized within the software client of your choice. Now, you can always use our website. We uh, have a WebGL based implementation that allows you to see the data, but you can also stream it into Autodesk Maya and that's exactly what we'll show you today. Besides that, we quickly will just mention that you can stream it into Unreal Engine, Unity, Blender, and NVIDIA Omniverse. Now, from within any of these clients, you can have, uh, you can scale out to a virtually unlimited number of audience members who can enjoy this anywhere in the world, um, all in real time and collaboratively. That are the founding principles of our platform. Now, but today, of course, we'll focus almost entirely on our uh, integration with Autodesk Maya. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we're looking at the Maya interface and within that, you can already see there's a, an actor. Now that actually is my team member, uh, Peter. He's uh, over in England. I'm in England too, I'm in London, but he is actually in a different spot in, in England. And he connected to the room just before we started it. But you'll see me doing the same thing in just a moment. I'm gonna join him in the room for now. I just wanted to show you roughly what this looks like. The character has been pre-calibrated with human IK. Um, and uh, we, uh, you see here uh, that interface is created by the Radica plugin. There you go. The few details you would have to enter, such as the room ID. Uh, and in there, you also see a list of players. Uh, one of them is highlighted. I believe that is probably Peter at the moment. And it's waiting to connect me. I haven't actually joined yet, but uh, the room knows that I'm about to, to join, so you can already see me in the list. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to join Peter in just a moment. So I'm going to switch over to the uh, web-based interface. That is our website that you see here. I've already set everything up. I've connected my video stream into the Radical Cloud. And it's just waiting for me to essentially start the countdown, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, so... I'm going to get into position. I always want to make sure that I, that I know where to stand such that I'm fully visible within the, uh, within the frame of the video. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm just going to hit start countdown. And the countdown has started. And at the bottom of the countdown, I want to do the BNT post. That's three, two, one, and go. Okay, I'm in. There you go. There you go. That's my that's my friend Peter. <laughs> there you go. Ta-da. Uh, and this is the visualization that our website produces at the moment. Uh, that will also evolve. There'll be much more that you can do sort of to make this more experiential. Uh, you'll be able to upload your own characters here. You'll be able to uh, change a lot of the content of this WebGL-based visualization. Uh, now, just as a reminder, uh, you're looking at... Uh, the um, you're looking at data that is being produced in the United States. We are actually being, because that is where our AI is running and our cloud cluster. But we are actually over here in England, so, and I have a conventional um, consumer camera streaming that video over there. And then the animation data is made available through WebSocket servers, and then it can be streamed into any device that has permission to receive it. I have chosen a mode that is called Fidelity. It introduces uh, a two second lag, and I believe Peter is on it too. Uh, and essentially uh, that allows me to tease out the most fidelity, the most precision uh, in the data. Uh, there is also an alternative mode, it's called speed. Uh, that brings the lag down to, I think less than 400 milliseconds, perhaps around 300 milliseconds. The lag on the f high fidelity mode is about two seconds. In future, we absolutely expect for that to come down quite significantly. Uh, so now I think with that said, I'm gonna switch over to the Maya interface again. And just so you know, so that Maya interface here, uh, that is a screen recording uh, that's currently being done by my by our uh, teammate Puya. Uh, and again, just, just as a reminder, so that in that list of actors, you can see two, that is the two actors that you just saw in the WebGL visualization. Now I'm gonna, now Puya is selecting me uh, and then he's gonna check a little box. That box ensures that you bring in the radical character uh, rather than having to bring in some, uh, another character. And that's just to make it uh, sort of a quick transition. Okay, when you're ready Puya, just hit create rig. 
and it will create the character well rather we'll bring in the rig and and with it the mesh okay there you go so now you see the exact same data essentially being streamed into autodesk maya and uh essentially if you were well, to see that side by side uh again because this is a local um visualization with the only so, uh, sort of remote source of data being our animation data coming from our cloud cluster uh, you would see that data moving uh, in perfect synchronicity. I think this is sort of uh, all that we wanted to show you for now within Maya, uh, except of course, uh, one important feature, and that is that the real-time animation data um, that you see being uh, visualized right now can also be recorded to the Maya timeline. So let's do that very quickly. For that, we're gonna look at the bottom half of the uh, plugin and you see a list of actors there as well. I think Puya is now going to choose me. That's great. And all he has to do now is hit record. So let's go ahead with that. And the first thing that happens is you see that the characters are no longer moving, but the rig is, and that is expected behavior. That's the way it's currently set up in Maya. Now I'm just going to move around a little bit such, such that we could recognize the motion. And when all, it's, I think that's probably where we're going to leave it. All right, so Puya, you can hit stop. And then I believe what, what we're not going to do is we're sort of going to scrub along the timeline, and then you'll see the recorded data being played back on the character again. There you go. All right, that's great. Thank you so much. Voila, I think that's probably where we'll leave it. This is how easy it is to use Radical Live and Autodesk Maya. There's much more coming. Uh, please do watch this space. And I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you so much.